So what's happening guys? I am on my way to my next hunting spot. It is nothing really exciting because my wife is going under the knife this weekend so I don't get to go out to any of my spots to do any hunting. So I decided to make a video on some backyard hunting. I know it sounds pretty bad, but I did some history on my house. It's not very old, you know, but I have hunted around before and I've come across some coins, modern stuff, weird doodads, toys, you know, and it's better than nothing. So I will get looking around and see what I can find. And I might find something cool, maybe a wedding ring, who knows? That'd be cool, but I'll let you guys know. Well, here we are. It is your typical middle-class American's house with a front yard and a swing set. I'm personally going to do my hunting back here in this hole because there's a lot more room and a lot less trash, I think. But, you know, I got maybe a half acre, if that. You know, I can look around, see what I can find. I haven't really hunted back here that much because it is my backyard, so it's kind of boring. But uh, it's better than nothing, like I said. So here's my creepy sinkhole, in case anybody's interested. It just showed up one day when we was uh, when during a rainstorm. So other than that, I'm gonna start hunting around and see what I can find. Well, here's my first find of the evening in my own backyard. And it kind of confuses me because it is a shotgun shell. Now this had to have been here a while because my neighborhood, it's always been a neighborhood. And you're not really allowed to shoot guns back here. So that's, that's kind of cool. You know, I was kind of hoping to find weird stuff like this, you know, that made no sense. Made it a little more fun. So about two, three inches down in my backyard... I find this huge slab of steel. I'm thinking maybe it's one of those um, things that surround your, um, you know, your water meter in the front yard. Something like that. But I don't know what it's back here for. But, you know, just something to dig up. That's kind of neat. Alright, well I just dug this up. It's one of those tool holders that you put on a pegboard. I don't know what it's doing in my yard. I dug it up right there, right by the sidewalk. Leading up to my house, about two inches down. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Oh my god, he's digging up the front yard. What a loser. Hey man, I'm just starting out, you know, and I figure what the heck. Maybe find some, maybe find some backyard true... Ugh backyard jewels you just never know well I'm getting a pretty good hit right here let's see we're looking at bouncing between the 60s and 70s I already dug one plug out and I haven't got there yet so I'm gonna keep on digging and see what I can find about eight inches down it was nothing but a bottle can or soda can that is disappointing but you know it is what it is. I found it. Oh, wait. What do we got here? We got ourselves a coin. I'm positive it's modern, but whatever. That's a penny. Looking like 1993. Clad. You know what? I'll take it. You better not be touching them buttons. Well, I just dug this hole. About just a good plug down, maybe four or five inches. And right at the bottom of it. There it is. Looks like a quarter. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's a Chuck E. Cheese token. Ha, huh, that's pretty funny. 2003. That's pretty wild. Oh, 
The Tournament of Roses. <laughs> That's pretty neat. I'll keep it. I'm right in the middle of digging this hole, and right when I moved the dirt, I found a roll of electrical tape. It amuses me. I think it's kind of funny. The stuff you can find in your neighbor's yard. You know, I found a Chuck E. Cheese coin, Tournament of Roses token, and some tape. Right in the same general area. Makes me think there was, I don't know, something here a little while ago, but maybe a tool shed or something. I don't know. So I'm digging in this one spot, maybe 10 feet squared. You know, just right in the general area. And I'm finding all kinds of cool little trinkets. Nothing really of value, you know, but I just dug this one up. And I just seen it as I started breaking the rocks up, so I wanted to see what you thought. If you can see it, it's right there. I have no idea what it is. It's modern, of course. You know, there'd be nothing of history here, but it's still fun to do some coin shooting. And the survey says it's a penny. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, that's really new, 2009. That's pretty wild. Finding a lot of coins in this general area. It's kind of cool. I was just getting ready to fill this hole back in and the dirt clump, I got another signal off of it. I haven't even broken it apart yet to see what it is. So let's see if we can find that together. Darn. I was hoping for another coin in the same spot. Just a little aluminum rod. Oh well. And it's sitting right on top. Okay. Quarter. That's cool. Well, I just dug up this really strong signal, and I saw what it was, but I wanted to get it on film and show you guys. So here we go. Doesn't have any name on it. It's been out here a little while. That's kind of cool. I just got a hit in the in the mid 90s, right next to this wall. You know, I can't pass it up. It's probably trash, but man, the thrill of the hunt it gets me. Just as I suspected, a sh clipping strap. High 90s. But you know what? I'll take it. It's good practice. You know, this week, like I said, I can't go out into the uh, into the woods to find some real stuff. So I figure, hey, I'll get some practice in the yard. Might find something. I find a couple of cool little trinkets. A lot of trash. But you know, whatever. Okay. At least I'm doing it. Thanks. Well, here's some of the main stuff that I found. Um, I threw a lot of it away because there's nothing but trash. I found a lot of cans. You know, the old shotgun shell, my little wrench. Uh, some clad and my Chuck E. Cheese token and the Tournament of Roses tag. I thought those were pretty cool finds. I think that's an old bullet. Uh, just a hunk of lead. No, uh, the, sh the shotgun shell is really old. I couldn't really tell how old, you know, but it's been there a while. I can't tell the brand on it, but... Um, you know, it was something to do. You know, backyard hunting is pretty boring, but... I, uh, 
I love doing this, so I can't wait to go out next week. Next week I'm going to an old church. I got permission to hunt there, and it's a pretty good site. So hopefully I'll find some stuff, and I get to share it with you. I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.